Yep, we're on. Cool. Yeah. Hey. Cool. Here we are. Here we are. Very Hello, slow. can you people hear us? Tell me if you can hear us. <laughs> Hi. There's definitely a, a huge delay. delay. <laughs> <laughs> I tilted my head seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, they're saying yes, so they can hear us. Hey, right, cool. All right, there's a bit of a delay. A bit. <laughs> a bit. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go and raise his hand. Look at that. It's like a 10 second delay. Yeah. It's just from us saying it. Uh, I think they hear it with us moving, I assume. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Alright, so we're here. We're gonna watch the uh, Nintendo Direct here. Got me, Papa Gino's. You know me. It's my brother, Cody. Wants to introduce himself. <laughs> my name's Cody. I'm uh, his brother. Uh, and this is Jesse. So we were all here um, for the last Direct. I did like a reaction video, so we were all on that. Um, yeah, me and Jesse used to work at a retro game store together. We did. Me and Cody used to share parents. We still do. <laughs> he used to. Do. <laughs> we first met up when uh, we had mutual parents. <laughs> we, we found out we had mutual parents <laughs> our whole lives. So, yeah, we just got to kill like 45 minutes here. <laughs> It'd be an exciting 45 minutes. Yep. So, is what they hear probably synced up to this? Yeah, it's synced up to, uh, okay. I assume, our... Yeah, they're not... Yeah. All right, well, that's... So, good. hopefully the video feed will be... <laughs> yeah, it's just that it's behind for us, but that's okay. Yeah. It's going great! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, yeah, Central! <laughs> so you can do that. You can talk to people. <laughs> wow, it's interactive. So, I guess we should talk about Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we're here for. Oh, do a Q&A. Okay, alright, that's a good idea. <laughs> we will do a Q&A. Actually, no, first I want to talk about how hard it was to set this up. Because people were like, oh, setting up a live stream is easy. I did not have an easy time. I had a hard time. Um, so, basically, I got this capture card, and I figured out how to use it the other night. And I was like, okay, cool, this is going to work, fine. Um... So, Cody's ripping open snacks over here. I <laughs> mean, yeah, knows? <laughs> so I got the capture card working fine. Got rights. <laughs> got rights. <laughs> we got the capture card working fine, and uh, I was like, cool, this is going to be easy. So I go to do it today, and I hook up my Wii U to stream the Wii U through the capture card into the computer. And I come to find out that the YouTube channel on the Wii U, for some reason, is saying, like, it's like a six hour delay from when we're actually going to get it. So the thumbnail says 3 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time, but the, um, like, the, oh, there's like an overlay over it that says it's like going to be at 10 p.m. or something like that. So I'm like, okay, what the heck's going on with this? So I check my PS4 to see what that says. My PS4 says, you know, the normal time. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll stream it through the PS4. So I go to stream it through the PS4 and the PS4 doesn't go through the capture card. So I'm like, all right, how do I do this? So I look it up. Turns out you have to shut something off on the PS4. So I shut off the thing. It's like HDCP or something like that you have to shut off. So I shut that off. I go to go on YouTube on the PS4, and you can't go on YouTube if HDCP is shut off on the PS4. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll go back to the Wii U. So I go back to the Wii U. Still says the weird 10 p.m. time thing. So I'm like, all right, I got to figure out what the heck's going on with this. Um, so I go, oh, wait a minute. Maybe my, like, time zone in my settings is wrong. So I go and I try to check my time zone settings. So I haven't used my Wii U in a long time, so I didn't remember my password. So I try to remember my password, I put my password in apparently too many times wrong, and it locks me out of going online with the Wii U. So now I'm locked out of using any of my systems to stream this, 
and I'm kind of freaking out. So I call Nintendo to see if they can like unlock it. And I get a guy on the phone and he's like, all right, just tell me what the error code is. So I go to go back into YouTube to see the error code that pops up and magically YouTube works. And I guess it only locks you off for like a couple minutes. So I tell the guy to just forget about it, it's fine. And now here we are. Um, the Wii U still says it's gonna start at 10 p.m. But the thumbnail says 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. So hopefully this is gonna work. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at with with all that. So that's the beginning story. But now we can start a question and answer. So go ahead and ask us questions. <laughs> that was a huge delay before anyone was going to ask any questions. <laughs> Plot twist, nothing is announced in Smash. What's up with the camera? It's bad. It's my bad webcam and it's not good. Uh, so I am also recording with a normal video camera that I usually use, so when I do the reaction video afterwards, I will use that good video footage in place of this bad webcam footage. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the L block from Tetris. L block from Tetris, <laughs> alright. I don't know if it's going to get in, but I think the, the tri purple block. The T block? Is, yeah, the, the purple one. Yeah, yeah. It seems much more. Well, I think like they're different cool. colors in different games. Maybe the L could be an echo. What are your predictions? Not just for Smash, but for the Direct <laughs> as a whole. Oh man, what do I predict from the whole Direct? Uh, online, Nintendo Online stuff. Is everybody kind of agreeing with that? Definitely online stuff. Yeah, so probably get Nintendo <laughs> Online stuff. Um, I do think we're going to get Smash stuff. Um, uh, what else do I think is going to be in there? Probably something on Pokemon. Probably something on Mario Party. Um, as for, like, new stuff, I haven't really thought about it. You got any idea what we might see? Like, something new that has Smash been announced? related or just Nintendo? Just Nintendo anything that related? Nothing I can really think of. <laughs> did you see the Bethesda comment about Smash? I did. Bethesda said they talked to um, the Smash people, which is interesting. So, yeah, I don't know if that means we're going to get, like, Dragonborn or, um, you know, Vault Boy or, I don't know, something, but... I am a big Bethesda fan, I just don't know how well it mashes with uh, <laughs> Smash, but yeah. Yeah, those are very conflicting styles. But... How old are you? I am 30 years young. <laughs> You're making me reveal my age on stream. You're going to be revealing a lot more <laughs> oh God. come the direct, so uh, <laughs> get comfortable. I'm 26. I am 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm, uh, I'm 23. <laughs> What's that guy's name? From, uh... Ward. Ward, yeah. Ward, Ward Prattley or something like that. It's a Ward King Prattley <laughs> reference from uh, King of the Hill. <laughs> Why do you look weird? Is it the camera? Yes, it is the camera. Well, it's also real life things. <laughs> <laughs> I also just look weird, yeah. There's also some real life issues going on with my uh, appearance. Also real life. <laughs> hey, Papa Gino's. Hey, Chrome Vault says 30 question mark? Yes, I am, I am old. Is that a previous video characters? Have you heard about Nintendo filing Golden Sun soundtrack? I don't know about a Golden Sun soundtrack, but I did hear Nintendo uh, doing the, um, the copyright trademark or whatever for Golden Sun. Also Rhythm Heaven, Mario Sluggers, and there's one other thing that I'm forgetting. Yeah, they trademarked a few things, like, at late August, I think, but we just found out about it today. So, interesting, we might get those characters. He moved the camera to the bottom right of the screen. Uh, that would be Jesse's crotch area, so <laughs> <laughs> I will not do that. Got to tell revealed today. Yeah, there was the Gardevoir got to tell leak thing. I don't know if it's still true or what, but maybe. I don't know if we're going to get a Pokemon rep. Honestly, I feel like they're going to save that. It's going to be something like in October to do, um, like, there'll be a Pokemon Direct for the Let's Go games, and, and we'll get it then. That's my guess, anyway. Papagenos, know of the Fountain of Youth. Yes, I am <laughs> young looking for 30. Agreed. Don't Thank you. where the fountain is. What do you do besides YouTube? Um, I also, uh... do stuff. <laughs> I have a job. Um, I like playing Ultimate Frisbee, though we haven't played much this year. Um, also enjoy long walks on the beach. And, <laughs> I don't know. Who doesn't? I do lots of stuff. <clears throat> Let's see. 
Mile Jones. I'm guessing they're asking about Mike Jones from Star Tropics. Um, I'm guessing not. Mike Jones was a uh, Western only character, so I think it'd be a real long shot for him to get in. No, I think he's cool and would like him. That is that. Before I knew about Ness in, Sm in Smash 64, when somebody told me there was a yo yo using kid in Smash 64, Did you think it was I Mike thought Jones? it was Mike Jones. <laughs> cool. I'm like the guy from Star Tropics. Skull Kid question mark. Well, we do have a big Majora's Mask poster behind me. Um, so yeah, I do kind of think Skull Kid's pretty likely. Also, Isaac. Uh, here, I'll just go over all the characters I think are likely. Skull Kid, Isaac, Karate Joe, Shantae, and potentially a Pokemon rep like Incineroar or something. Possibly Gardevoir if that leaks right. Um, those would be my like characters I think are possible as unique newcomers. And then for Echo Fighters, I'm thinking Dixie Kong, Isabelle, Ken are really likely for this direct anyway. I also think like Shadow is likely, but I feel like those three are likely this direct. I don't know if you guys have anybody else or want to comment on any of those characters. You, I'm going to say you probably know better <laughs> than I do. And what's likely? Yeah. <laughs> Any comments on those characters? Anyone that you'd want? I know you're like, you like Golden Sun a lot, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fan too. What product do you use on your hair? Um, <laughs> there's this uh, thing that I always get, uh, it's called shampoo, and uh, I use that, mostly. <laughs> you have the best hair out of your two friends. Yes, yes I do, thank well, you. Well that's <laughs> debatable. <laughs> I mean, I'm hair on. tied back right now. Yeah, Jesse actually has some pretty mighty hair as well. He just ties it back. <laughs> Black Knight would be dope. There was a um, theory about Black Knight because he's missing from the Castle Siege stage. So, yeah. And we're also, we don't have an Ike Echo. They made Krom a uh, Roy Echo. So, you know. I think he's a little bit Ike too, right? He's got the Ike up B. Krom, yeah. Krom is the Ike up B, yeah. But he's not technically an Ike Echo. Black Knight is... Um, or not Black Knight is. Black Knight could be an Ike Echo. Um, it would make sense. I think they have the same like sword fighting style or something. Bandana D. Yeah. Um, he's, I'm not guessing him this, like right now for whatever reason. There's just a lot of other people that seem likely. Um, same with Gino. I do think Bandana D and Gino are probably in the game. I'm just thinking they might be revealed a little later, but who knows? We'll see what we get. Um, what product do you use on your hair? Uh, shampoo, again. <laughs> Uh, this person wants Master Chief. All right, I'm not a huge Microsoft guy, but I can see how he's important to gaming history. So. Master Chef. Master <laughs> Chef. Oh, Master <laughs> Chef. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, I want him too. Boshi <laughs> as Yoshi Echo Fighter. Yes, yes, Mario RPG stuff. I would be so down for that. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of like thinking Gino's not gonna get revealed right now. I think he's in the game, but I don't think he's gonna get revealed. I think he'll be saved towards the end. So, I don't know if he gets revealed right now, though, I'll probably flip out. Wait, you're a Smash player who actually <laughs> showers. Good wow. point. Good point. <laughs> Had a uh, problem. Oh, I never said he showers. He says he uses shampoo. Yeah, use shampoo. <laughs> I don't necessarily go in the shower. I just use shampoo. Yeah. I'm creative like that. <laughs> Where's Mama Mallow? Dude, I have thought about that, actually. Yeah, where is Mallow? I, well, I said you could be Mama Mallow. I actually made that name up for you one time, but you were like, that's a girl's name. And I was like, you know. <laughs> I want to be my own All right. <laughs> so you do or you don't. <laughs> Where's the broadcast? Uh, we're waiting. On we're it. waiting for it. It's at six. My time. I don't know what your time is. Hey, dude. What do you think Master Chief chances are as DLC? Um, probably low. I honestly feel like if Nintendo uh, does something with. Microsoft, or actually it'd be Bungie, right? I don't know. If Microsoft still own Master Chief. I don't really know who owns Master Chief, but if Nintendo does something with Microsoft, and if that's what I think the trade would have to be, I believe they would probably go for Banjo-Kazooie. Um, I think Banjo-Kazooie is the better option anyway, so. That would, that's just my take on it, though, but maybe maybe Microsoft would push Master Chief, so who knows. They seem to really like to focus on if it's not a company that's owned by Nintendo right now, that that character got its start on a Nintendo system. Yeah, that's like true. Snake, um, Simon Belmont, Richter Belmont. Yeah. Um, Richter didn't start on Nintendo, but... Was Richter's first game... Not... He was actually first on... Richter was it Rondo of Blood was yeah. on PC first, yeah, and then Dracula X... Richter was Rickshaws. Richter Rickshaw. Rickshaw Belmont. Yeah, Rickshaw Can you move game. your face cam into the corner? 
think they want it to like. Yeah, they oh, want, they I don't want it to hug that. I don't know if I can, to be honest. Um, I might get rid of the cam if I tried to do that. I was trying to mess with it earlier, so it might have to sit there. Sorry, guys. I'll see if I can do a better job of that next time. But I kind of need to set it up beforehand. Tails is a character, and and you're and. Are you in danger of the hurricane? Okay, this popped up, so good. All right, this the Wii U does appear to be working correctly for streaming the direct, so that's good. Um, I'm not in danger of the hurricane. Uh, we are in like the New England area, so I mean maybe later on the hurricane might go up the coast. It usually does, but we're we're safe. We're also in a valley, so yeah, we're a little inland in a valley, so we get like hurricanes and stuff, but they usually die down, hitting mountains before they get to us. What about Nintendo and Smash? Um, possible Echo Fighter for Ness, but I just kind of. I just think Nintendo might, if anything, be like an alternate costume for Ness. Like, Elf is an alternate costume for Olimar. Uh, I just don't think he has a ton of different personality that would, uh, you know, I don't know, make him an Echo Fighter. I just feel like an alt costume would do him justice. Yeah. Dave from my local GameStop is joining Smash. I just saw the leak. Okay, we got Dave confirmed. <laughs> I'd main Dave. <laughs> uh, Mother 3 West release. That would be cool. I don't know if they'll ever give us Mother, Mother 3 on uh, official release of it, so... I don't know, but... That would be awesome. That would be a great reveal. Uh, I do think, so if we get the online, we'll get, you know, more games. Uh, more games for the, the online uh, service that Nintendo is doing, so that'll be fun to hear about, I'm sure. Booster or Smithy for boss story mode. That would be cool. I'd be down for that. Um, uh, stages, I was thinking about stages, as, like if a Super Mario RPG stage comes in, I don't know if 103 is our final stage count, because there's like six missing spots, and the number of stages we have, plus the random button, can actually make a perfect square, so for some reason Sakurai left some spots down there, um, so if we got more stages, and if potentially Gino got a stage, I was thinking the Axum Ranger ship would be a really cool, um, Mario RPG stage, but I'm kind of thinking Xor is probably more likely. That'd be sick, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the Axum Ranger ship, like have it fly around the whole Mario RPG world or something. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting too uh, ahead of myself here. Let's get, let's just get Geno and Smash Bros. <laughs> One step at a time. Dixie Kong. I think Dixie Kong's super likely. Um, the last Direct ended with K. Rule kind of like capturing Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, and who saves Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong? Dixie Kong. We also got um, Dark Samus in the last Direct. And we got Ridley in the one before that, so, you know, we got K. Rool in the last one. Can we get Dixie calling this time? I think that would be cool. What games are you looking to see a sequel to? Um, I was hoping for The World Ends With You to get a sequel. I know it's getting, like, the... Is it, like, a remake with, like, an update or something? Yeah, um, there, there's, like... Apparently, I haven't played it yet, so I can't say with any certainty, but people are saying there's, like, something in it later on or at the end that, like... Adds a bit. Uh, that could... Smash Ultimate for me. <laughs> Let's see a sequel. Let's see a sequel to Smash Ultimate. <laughs> the game we're waiting for. <laughs> uh, let's see. Virtual Console is dead. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> gonna get this thing instead. You think non-video game characters have a shot in Smash at all? Um, personally, I hope not. Um, I think that once that door gets opened, it's just a flood. I know there's like some characters people are like okay with, like Goku, but like I feel like once you get Goku in, it's like why not Darth Vader? Why not Mickey Mouse? Why not like it just it never ends. So cheapy um, game says Bowser's uh, Castle. I think that would be a dope stage. Yeah, Bowser's Castle. I ca wanted Bowser's Castle <laughs> to be a stage about for that. a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is the Paper Mario stage, which kind of turns into Bowser's Castle, but only for like a second. So. Yeah. It's one of the three forms of the stage. Um, so on the note of characters that aren't, like, video game characters, there's also the possibility of, like, um, you know, real people characters. I was talking about how I'm, I got, like, two I'm okay with, or two I've thought of that I'm okay with. Not that I think they'll ever happen, but Mike Tyson, because I'm a huge Punch-Out fan, so I'd be fine with Mike Tyson getting in. Uh, and I'd be fine with Tony Hawk, just because I feel like the Tony <laughs> Hawk games are, like, I don't know, so historic in like gaming or whatever they they were like a big part of gaming and stuff everybody's played the tony hawk game so those are the two like real people i'm okay with uh, somebody said rayman rayman's possible rayman was a trophy last time so definitely likely smash ultimate is a port yeah <laughs> yeah what's up with that <laughs> yeah <laughs> So somebody say something about Sakurai's office. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see Sakurai's office. Who's in Duster? There. He's uh, one of the characters from Mother 3. 
He's the one that doesn't have special powers. Dustbuster <laughs> yeah. Man? Dustbuster <laughs> Man, yeah. He um he's not part of Lucas's final smash. He's the only, I think, party member who's not part of Lucas's final smash, so Which is also strange to me because uh Boney doesn't have Psy powers either. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess he is like a, a super intelligent dog, so... Dragon <laughs> Waffle says Pro Skater 4 was great, and I highly agree. <laughs> Pro Skater 4, Thug 1, and Thug 2, really good powers. <laughs> oh, so we mentioned po uh, uh, James Bond. James Bond is a character. So James Bond would be another, like, Tony Hawk or Mike Tyson. Like, where I'm, <laughs> James Bond isn't actually a real person. Yeah, that would work, though, because he's not, like, a real person. Right, yeah. Hey, Pop Tunas, do you think Mike Jones from Star Tropic should be an Echo Fighter of, and then it went up? Um, <laughs> I don't think Mike Jones is probably going to get in just because he's Western only, but I do like him as a character. If I had, you know, my say, and Sakura was like, do you want this character to be in? I'd say yes, I like Mike Jones. New Earthbound character. I, I think if Duster was in the game, he'll be a um, assist trophy, <clears throat> honestly. But yeah. Maxwell from Scribblenauts. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Is There's a lot you can do with that, actually. Uh, yeah, so, moveset-wise. Yeah. <laughs> really cool. Uh, Ken for Ryu or Sephiroth for Cloud. Um, yeah, I definitely think Ken's probably in as a Ryu Echo. I think Ken as a Ryu Echo and Shadow as a Sonic Echo are some of the most likely Echoes. Shaq! Shaq from Shaq-Fu. <laughs> okay, we got more real people who are kind of... Matthew Rayleigh will be right back. So. Okay, all right, Matthew Rayleigh, we will... We will, uh, we will see you soon. We'll see you soon. We will wait you. Your turn. Karate Joe or Chorus Kids? Um, I'm more of a Karate Joe fan, personally. I just think he's the better uh, Rhythm Heaven rep. Rhythm Paradise rep, wherever you are in the world, they call it. Waluigi will be in DLC. Uh, I think if people are loud enough, squeaky wheel on that one. <laughs> Force him in, man. Joanne Dark. But, yeah. But that was kind of, like rare separating from Nintendo, so that might be... Yeah, I mean, there was... Wasn't the Proximity Mine in, like, Melee supposed to be from Perfect Dark, I think, specifically, or something? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was, because I think Rare is, like, um, in the, like, credits for Melee or something. I think it's because of that. Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I think Sora could potentially be this game's cloud, as in, like, the one of the last DLC characters as, like, this big, nobody thought that could ever happen character, but I doubt Sora would happen base roster. Finally streaming the direct. So glad for the channel boom. By the way, thank you. I am also glad for the channel's boom. We we are all glad. <laughs> <laughs> Two thumbs up. Spyro or Crash? Um, honestly, I feel like it would be both. If you get one, <laughs> we get them both. <laughs> Can't have one without the other. Really? You think so? Uh, it would be weird, I think, to get just Crash or just Spyro. Well, they even did that thing once upon a time where they did like crossover games for them and like start really like packaging them together, but. What do you think of Labo Man? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Labo might have came out a little too late, though I guess it could be like a Wii Fit Trainer type, you know, bizarre character. Um, Cody here always makes fun of Labo whenever we go to the stores. He, <laughs> he always, rips on Labo. He rips on Labo hard. Uh, we do not see it selling well. <laughs> At least not around here. So, I don't know. A Labo Man could be neat. I saw that. Somebody made like a, a GIF animation of like Labo Man fighting. It was... Like, like a little cardboard man with like a Joy-Con in his back. It actually looked really cool. So, um, you know, with the right moveset, I would think he was a pretty cool, like, bizarre yeah, character. Yeah, that dude says proximity of mine was Goldeneye. It was Goldeneye, okay. All right, more more James Bond, less Joanna Dark. <laughs> <laughs> I think BK would be that character. Banjo-Kazooie. Or BK, like the king from Burger King. Oh, Burger, Burger <laughs> King from Sneak King. Okay, yeah. Sneak King's probably, yeah, I'd say it's probably top three most likely games to get a rep. Right now, but sneaking. if you get him, you got that Ronald McDonald. Yeah, as a <laughs> Echo Fighter. Oh, the match of the century. You think he represent uh, sneaking or big bumping? <laughs> Definitely big bumping. <laughs> big bumping. He like his side B and like run people down. Midna from Zelda. I'm pretty sure Midna was already shown as an assist trophy. I yeah, think. I'm pretty sure she was. Yeah. Rex and Pyra. Um, guessing. DLC. I just think uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out a little too late to get in the base roster. But I think they're like locks for DLC. Like, if we're getting any core Nintendo characters, it's like an arms rep, and Rex and Pyra, I feel like, are like locks. Banjo would be the last base roster. 
Yeah, I could see that happening. I could also see them doing, um, cause we don't have any veterans this time to do like DLC. So I could see like, uh, you know, Mewtwo was like shown before to like hype DLC. I could see Banjo-Kazooie being shown to be like, it's gonna be our first DLC character is like this hype final thing they show. And then they never release it. <laughs> yeah. It's like the uh, shop and go thing in Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, oh, it'd be, um, yeah. yeah, the the thing that used the, um, was it the 64 disc drive or DD, whatever that thing that like went on your 64. The and it was, keys. Yeah, the, the ice key and the, the eggs in the, the fire land or whatever that you're supposed to be able to like go from 2E to the first one. Yeah. That'd be a great reference to Banjo-Kazooie, Cody. That right. Banjo-Kazooie get announced for DLC and then... Everyone, Never come everyone out. would have a good laugh and not be mad. <laughs> yeah. Banjo Kazooie's my number two most wanted, by the way, right behind Gino. So my number one. Number one right now? After Simon well, and K Roll got in? It's like a pipe dream a little bit. Yeah. Pop Gino's beanie for Smash. I assume you're talking about my hat. That'd be cool. If Gino gets in and he's wearing a beanie, you know. Copyright right on the beanie is just they could never get that. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo has come to me, like Sakurai has come to me asking for rights to the hat and I don't know. I don't know. I haven't uh, haven't decided yet. So. <laughs> skull Child. Something Skull Kid. Yeah, I think Skull Kid's really likely right now. Skull Kid and Isaac feel like the most likely. Unless that Karate Joe leak is real. Then I'm thinking Karate Joe with Ken as the Echo Fighter. And maybe just those two characters revealed because they're both like Karate Guy themed. Uh, Rex and Pira ain't happening. Elma's gonna happen more. Mm. Elma is more likely for base roster. I will say, if we get a Xenoblade something for the base roster, it'd probably be Elma. Yeah, she did come in as DLC for, uh... Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I actually have Elma, uh, Rex, and Shulk, I think, all in that game. And they make yeah. some, like, cryptic message about... Like, all the fans wanted to see these three in one game together, so, I don't know. There's Shantae also, her games have a bunch of cryptic messages about Smash, but I know Way Forward was just, like, pushing her during the ballot, so maybe they're just still pushing her, stuff like that, but, or maybe she's in, I don't know. We'll see. She may also just be in as an assist trophy, because Shovel Knight was just an assist trophy. I kind of considered them equal grounds. Love to see your channel booming, dude. Thanks, dude. Pepsi Man. Thanks, Ivan. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ivan. Yokai Watch Rap. Um, I kind of doubt it myself, but I know it is like super popular in Japan. Yeah. So, what kind of villains would you want in the game? Like for bosses or for like just playable? Like, most likely unplayable end. Uh, unplayable? Okay. No, playable. Yeah, actually, Cody has a good. He has. He has the one he wants. The coolest thing that could happen is for him to add Doctor Robotnik. I could see Robotnik. Hands down, like. Come on, that'd be sweet. <laughs> I mean, I'd say Banjo Kazooie's cooler Shut in my up. book. Well, yeah, yeah, I want him too. But well, yeah, Doctor just... Robotnik, like, think about how he would play. He'd yeah. be like Bowser Jr. Yeah, he have a cool move set, um, and he is just I don't know as iconic as like just think Bowser and yeah. stuff. So yeah, I just, I'm think just he... speaking strictly, like we can't add any more heroes. We have to pump up just like villain roster. All right, well, what would you say, Jesse? I don't know. Since I was so thinking on evil it. today. I was just curious <laughs> what you guys' opinions. Um, yeah, I definitely think Dr. Robotnik would be good. Also, Dr. Wily would be cool. Those are two, like, you know, big gaming villains. Um, Skull Kid and Black Knight both seem like likely villains to get added. Um, I haven't, like, specifically thought of villains, though, so they'll have a little tough time. Any punch out, any other punch out rep, I guess, besides Doc Lewis, would be a villain character, and I'd be cool with that. Yeah, Von Kaiser is definitely good. Von Kaiser is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, King Hippo, King Hippo or Bald Bull, I think, are potential characters that could happen. I don't really suspect them, but potential. Yeah. Dr. Eggman would be a boss. Be, I think they'd be in the sister. I'm just yeah. really riding this, like, villain high that yeah. they've been... <laughs> going with here. I actually had a really cool idea for a Glass Joe assist trophy where, um, because the assist trophies can be KO'd now, and like Glass Joe, you know, gets knocked out really <laughs> easily, so and since that KO actually adds to your, um, like your kill count or whatever, um, if Glass Joe is an assist trophy and just any damage to him whatsoever instantly knocks him out, and so he's just an assist trophy that basically gets you a free yeah. kill, that would be cool. Yeah. I saw Akuma as a as an echo fighter speaking of villains there. Okay, that'd be cool. He fights he has the similar fighting style to Ryu, just 
you know, more dark and evil. And yeah, I mean, I feel like Ken's the more likely Echo out of like... Yeah, yeah 677 watching. Okay, cool, we can't tell how many people are on. <laughs> um, you know, out of like uh, Ken, Akuma, Dan, you know, is like Ryu yeah. Echoes. I just feel like Ken's most likely because he's kind of the original one, but if they're going for more villains, yeah, it could be Akuma. What about Reggie in Smash? I think he kind of already was with the Miis. Didn't they sort of show him off as, like, one of the Miis when they originally did the Miis? Little Max Storm is already playable. It's Donkey Kong. Good point. Actually, in the, um, the K. Roll trailer, Donkey Kong had, like, boxing gloves. Yeah. When he uh, attacked K. Roll. That was cool. Chrono Trigger would be awesome. I'm a big Chrono Trigger fan. I don't know how likely it is, but big fan. And Bison would be fun. Yo, this is at one more Robert from Twitter. You know him? Um, I don't. I know people more by their pictures than I do by their <laughs> names. Um, so I'll go look over on Twitter. I probably do. I have a much uh, smaller Twitter following, so I probably I probably know who you are. Just don't recognize the name being said. Well, I'll say hi to one more Robert. Cody, <laughs> Cody says hi. Cody says hi. <laughs> I only don't watch live reactions, but you guys are Cliff AF. Um, so I'm assuming they mean. Uh, we're Cliff, man. We're Cliff, yeah. We're right. Cliff. <laughs> like the bar, right? Gex the Gecko! Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. He was all over gaming magazines in, like, the 90s. Like, EGM. I remember just every time I got an EGM, there was, like, seven Gex ads. And, like, those Army Men game ads. <laughs> Full forgotten games, but all over the place. Happy to be here to celebrate my birthday. Hopefully Gina... Oh, birthday. Happy birthday, Mario... Bro, I think, with one, a bunch two, of numbers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cody. Cody has, like, super vision, so he's going to be able to see you guys. Yeah. Better than me. I have butt vision. Yeah, me too. I can see butts really well, <laughs> but not only things. I have butt vision. <laughs> <laughs> Roblox Kanye for Smash. That's like it. Um, Gino will be a Meg Mega Man Echo. Uh, I used to say old what's-his-butt all the time, and Dana <laughs> thought it was really funny because... Uh, Dana was my next door neighbor growing up, who I actually played Mario RPG with for the first time. So you know, there you go, there's a connection. Um, but he thought it was so funny that I said, "Old what's his butt?" They were like, oh, "You know, what's his butt?" Because he was like, "You remember people by their butts?" <laughs> <laughs> Tina, I guess, from Bo uh, Bob's Burgers. We'll post uh, Dana's telephone number later. <laughs> He'll post Dana's full contact information. <laughs> My top two favorite newcomers would be Bandana Wild D and any Pokemon. Well, I got good news for you. We will probably get any Pokemon. <laughs> any Pokemon. The Dungeon Memester says that he loves you. He's been here for a while. So we just want to say that we love him too. We love you back. The love, Dungeon Memester. Love you. Memester. From I think that was. Cody for Smash. Cody, yay. Look at that. <laughs> Acer Eraser G GDP. GDP. <laughs> He knows. He is sweet. <laughs> Glad to watch the direct with you and your friends. Uh, these, okay, let's not uh, let's not go too far. This, this is family, and this is uh, co-worker. We, so. found, we found him. <laughs> Strictly professional. Yeah. How can I donate? Um, just click on my videos a lot, and YouTube will pay me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll do like a Patreon or something. I don't know, I always thought that stuff was... Yeah, and I wasn't in this for money. I just wanted to make cool Smash videos, and then it blew up, and now I'm in it for money. <laughs> <laughs> How money changes people. Yeah. Nothing says uh, Eevee in Smash, and I think that, personally, I think that'd be, like, the coolest Pokemon they could do. Yeah, Eevee's, unfortunately, Eevee. already a Pokeball Pokemon, but... Yeah. Don't tell me that. It, like, yeah, jumps sorry. around head but, people. But Eevee could, like, evolve to all... <laughs> the evolutions that it has for like moves. It'd be That'd so be cool. cool. Either have each move do like that. Like it, like it. What if Eevee had like, like Cloud's Limit slash like Little Max like like something like that, mm -hmm. and then could evolve into like randomly one of the. Not randomly, like you get to choose. You get to choose. Like Shulk's Monado. Yeah, like Shulk's Monado. <laughs> And then you could play as that for like a little bit. Be cool. I mean, we just got the Let's Go games, which are Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So yeah, you know, I I mean, it's a Pokeball Pokemon. It's so probably not gonna happen now, but maybe down the road, Eevee's definitely a popular Pokemon. Possibly for Electric Man. Um, I believe yeah, probably love. I believe he's talking about Shocker from Spider Man. <laughs> I thought he meant Static Shock from Static Shock. <laughs> You're right. Maybe he did mean that. <laughs> Patreon, question mark. Yeah, I, I'm not, I, I don't use it. Uh, Dancing Aliens for Smash. I don't, oh, actually, is that from that? 
I might know what game that is. I might not, so I'm not gonna. Thanos from Mario Kart Tour. Hexasaur. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thanos was in like Fortnite, I think. So yeah. Yeah. Thanos okay. is in Fortnite. Dude, I don't want to really? talk about Fortnite <laughs> on stream because I don't play Fortnite personally. If you play Fortnite, all power to you, whatever. Um, I haven't even downloaded it onto my Switch and it's free. <laughs> Pulling Dynamite for Smash. I like that movie. <laughs> I thought I saw, uh, not Uncle Rico, who's, uh, what's the Quando guy? Uh, Rex Quando. What, Rex Quando. I thought I saw the actor who played Rex Quando in an episode of Malcolm in the Middle the other day, and I got excited, so there you go. <laughs> Septile for Smash. You wanted Septile. It's like your favorite starter, right? Yeah. I may have that be sore. <laughs> Terribly sorry. <clears throat> what up? You seem like genuine fella. I am a genuine fella. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. <laughs> that was Higgins Flarf. Higgins? <laughs> oh, I like Higgins from Zim. Yeah, somebody you know mentioned lip. Oh, man. They showed the lipstick as an item, so I kind of feel like that soft deconfirms lip, but I am a huge Tetris Attack fan. I would love a panel to pawn rep. Cody was saying he thinks we're going to get a female rep earlier, actually, so... Yeah, I don't know if that's Isabel or Dixie Kong or somebody else, Shantae. Isaac, yeah, Isaac seems pretty likely. First Super Mario Legend for Smash would be really, really cool. Yeah. The No Way Out 85 <laughs> has some good ideas. We were talking about Earthworm Jim as a Clay Fighter rep. <laughs> uh, bad Mr. Frosty as a Clay Fighter rep. Oh, Earthworm Jim as a... As a just Earthworm Jim rep. Well, how about as a Boogerman um, cameo rep character? Sure. <laughs> I don't think he's in Boogerman, but Boogerman's in Clay Fighter with... <laughs> Earthworm Jim. Alright, we got eight minutes. It has a Geno Echo with a pizza throwing move. Clever. <laughs> Mallow in DLC. I'm kind of thinking Mallow might be like a Sis Trophy, but I'd be cool with a playable Mallow. I, I love my RPG. Honestly, if Mallow got in instead of Geno, I would still be happy. I see a lot of people mentioning Porky as a character. Just, I don't know how they would do that. <laughs> I'm in the spider mech, I would imagine. Yeah, I just don't, I don't want to use the go-to, like... Too big? It's too big. <laughs> <laughs> but he is quite large, but... I've seen a mock-up of, like, him in the spider mech next to other characters, and, uh, he seemed about right, like, size-wise. That he'd be a, he would be a large character, but he could work. Yeah, if you take him from, like, his sprite in Mother 3, he is a little more, like, coffin-sized, mm -hmm. for a morbid lack of better terms. Um... So that's not too bad, but if you took the one from Brawl... Oh, the one from Brawl is like too big, yeah. That was a straight up boss. Iron Star says, will you ever have a theme song for your videos? <laughs> um, I mean, I have the Forest Maze song play at the beginning. It's kind of my theme song, I guess. Chun-Li. There was somebody over on Twitter who really wants Chun-Li. That's another potential um, second Street Fighter rep. I feel like Ken or Akuma is an easier echo of Ryu, but Chun-Li definitely is an important character in gaming. So, yeah. Same with, um, like... Uh, Laura Croft from Tomb Raider, just like important female, old school um, gaming characters have been around for a while. The Blob from Clay Fighter, yes! Clay <laughs> Fighter Raps! <laughs> Jimmy Neutron 100% confirmed for Smash. Wow. Cool. Incredible. Oh man, speaking of Jimmy Neutron, so Jimmy Neutron had a weird cameo thing with Fairly Odd Parents, and recently, uh, Total Drama Island now has a remake show called Total Drama Rama with characters from 16 in it, and Cody loves to make fun of the show 16, <laughs> so he's excited that there's a new ridiculous spin off where they're all like toddlers for some reason. Show, it's just the most weird. Like Rugrats meet Wild Thornberries yeah, crossover. You could have never mention that to me again. Uh, <laughs> and, I, and I would think that that was just was like a dream. No, it was real. Fever dream. dream. <laughs> it's some weird fever dream of a show. All right, back to Smash. Yeah, none of the 682 <laughs> people watching want to hear that. Not a single one of them. Curious George learns how to smash. <laughs> <laughs> Could have phrased that a little better, but... Fierce Deity Link Echo Fighter. We haven't seen um, Young Link's uh, Final Smash yet, so it could be Fierce Deity Link. Especially if Skull Kid gets in as, like, a That'd be rival sick. thing. Yeah, I'd be done with that. And Dan the D. Though I think uh, Normal Link still has Fierce Deity Link as, like, a costume, so... I don't know, but I'd still like that as his Final Smash. Goku for Smash. I 
doubt it'll happen. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't. I, I like Dragon Ball Z. I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, but if I want to play Dragon Ball Z Fighter, Fighter Z, <laughs> I'll just play that. I don't think I need them in Smash. I just feel like it opens a floodgate of non gaming characters. Five minutes. We've got five minutes. Sigma for Mega Man X. Be cool. I like Mega Man X. I'm excited who's, for Mega Man 11. Who's Sigma? He's the main antagonist of the X series. Yeah. But I feel like he's a little out of place because we only have Mega Man and not X. <laughs> Taboo as a boss. Yeah, I can see Taboo coming back. Also Master Hand and Crazy Hand. And you know, I can see all that coming back. We have a you know, boss fight mode. That guy's name was Coolman MC. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta read the names. There's like some potato chip yeah. says Rich <laughs> Rick Dofen. Rick Topin. Alright. Doom guy for Smash, Vault Boy. Yeah, there was someone with Bethesda talking to Smash, talking to I don't know if it was Sakurai or somebody. Boy in his blob would be cool. Yes. Yes, I'm a fan of Boy in his blob. I also like the Wii uh, game, kinda underrated game. Hurts Cowardly Dog for Smash. I'd main him. TMNT. They got into... What was it? Uh, Injustice? Five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, man. All of that. Papa All that reference. For Smash. Boo! Papa Gino's. <laughs> Gino's it said... Notice me, Senpai. It says... Wes. Wes. <laughs> and some Japanese or some kanji or something. Papa, please notice me. Also, Wes, Wes, again. You are noticed. We notice you, Wes. <laughs> you have been noticed. You're the man. Or, or woman. Hey, Papa, just checking in for a bit. We're going to watch the stream over at Nintendo. That's fine. I totally understand. Big Big Cat! Yes! So one time for my birthday, um, a friend of mine uh, got me, like, five Big Big Cat action figures <laughs> because a toy store, a KB Toy Works that was in our town, was going out, and uh, they were on super clearance. Like, all the... The toys were on super clearance, and it was my birthday around that time, and one of my friends went out and bought, like, again, like, five Big the Cat action figures. It was figures. hilarious. They had a bunch of Sonic figures on the shelves, and basically they had, what's the robot's name? Uh, E-102 game. They had, like, a few E-102s, and then the rest of them, like, Big the Cat. It was, like, 90% like, Big the Cat. What kid into Sonic <laughs> is gonna go there and be like, oh, cool, Sonic figures? It's like, oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, Big <pretty> the Cat. <laughs> Oh, like a pixelated character. That'd be interesting. I don't know who could rep that, but that would be interesting. Three minutes. Three minutes. Getting excited. Once this direct starts, we're going to be looking up here, because we're, we're watching this way, so... Right now we're looking at the comments, but we will probably not be looking at the comments much, unless, like, you know, some boring games get announced. Isaac and Skullkid. Yeah, they seem extremely likely. Extremely likely. And I'm a huge fan of both of them, so... So, Croc! From Croc! <laughs> Croc was also like Gex. He was like all over gaming magazines. Never actually played Croc. I have played Gex. I've seen somebody speedrun Croc, I think. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. Shaq Fu? Yep. Notice Me says Marsh Films. Noticed. Gengar. I think Gengar would be such a cool um, Pokemon character, honestly. I don't know if we need more Gen 1 representation, but Gengar would be cool. Uh, since characters don't move past each other this time, I thought it'd be really cool if we got some sort of ghost character whose gimmick was they could move through characters like you can in Smash 4. Please give me a Daddy Genos. <laughs> there you go. Daddy Genos. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> MC Nito. We got a lot of MCs in here. Yeah, man. This is, uh, this is the place for... Uh, for DJs. Hello everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Sakurai. <laughs> I haven't played the new Spider-Man game. Did you play the Spider-Man game yet? I haven't. I heard good things about it and it has a dedicated finger guns button. But... Oh, cool. <laughs> One of my co-workers now um, has got it and he was saying it was good. So I love the Batman game, so hopefully it gives me that feeling of like being Batman that those games gave me. Hopefully this will give me a feeling of being Spider-Man. Ghosts and Goblins rap. This guy. This guy is good at Ghosts and Goblins. We got a cartridge in our retro gaming store one time that the levels didn't show up. Like, the actual levels didn't show up, just the enemies and items and stuff. Did you beat it? Or did you got extremely far, right? I think it did clear that level, because I confirmed that uh, Crystal Forest did appear after that. Yeah, yeah, right, the level came in. Yeah, yeah so this guy got super far <laughs> in a wicked hard game with, like, the, the levels not showing up. It was insane to watch. I love that game. 
Ooh. Oh, here we are. All right, track time. Start right away with. Oh! oh. Alright. We started with Luigi walking around <laughs> last time. Interesting. Is he gonna die? Let's hope not. Oh man. I really wish this was on Switch instead of 3DS, to be perfectly honest. Isn't this. This is a new one, though. Oh, is it? Oh, it's just, yeah. oh it's a new, you're right. It is a brand new one. Oh man, I was just thinking. Yeah, yeah. oh, sweet. Yeah, wow. Oh. Nintendo Switch. All right, I got my wish. 2019. I'm super excited for that. That's awesome. That's cool. People were guessing that because his uh, poltergeist in the uh, Simon Belmont trailer yeah. was like redone. As you just saw, we kick things off with a new reveal. And I'm pleased to confirm that Luigi's next spooky adventure is in development for Nintendo Switch. We have a lot to say about the game, but we'll have to save that for another time. Now, let's cover some upcoming games for Nintendo 3DS. Please take a look. The pink puffball gets crafty again. Okay. The 2010 Wii game Kirby's Epic Yarn is warping to Nintendo 3DS. That game makes me feel so warm. Yeah. <laughs> that game's just like the nicest game ever. It's so cute. Who knows what else? It's also like, isn't it like impossible to die or really hard anyway? Yeah, I get like the gems knocked out of you. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember recommending that to a lot of um, parents with young kids at the, at the game store. Yeah. Such a feel good game. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Once again, I do wish they'd just focus on the Switch 3DS, but. Oh, well. Yeah. Hey, a bunch of bandana D's. <laughs> Waddle D's anyway, not Van Damme D's. Demon of a devil in devilish mode. Oh. Top it off. New mini games will give you a chance to play as some other familiar faces. <laughs> that's oh, that's cool. Kirby's extra epic yarn launches. Extra epic for Nintendo 3DS in 2019. Bowser Jr. destined for greatness. The Mushroom Kingdom has a bad case of the floors. And the only ones who can save it are Mario and Luigi. It's exactly that. It can only be Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I never played Inside Story. I really enjoyed that one. I need to play it. I played the other Mario and Luigi games. Maybe I'll get this one. Yeah. So I am very curious why they decided to skip the second Mario and Luigi. For a remake? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Koopa Links, I'm a fan. That is what I thought was being shown at the beginning. Hey, green Luigi! That's bizarre. It's cool to play two player though. Yeah. It'd be fun. I never play Luigi's Mansion. They're good. The first one was exceptional. The second one, they fell, fell a little short. I wish it stayed in one place instead of going to different um, locations. And put them back. Just, you know, like a big mansion again. Yeah. Just in time for Halloween. Plus, even those little mansions were broken down for like, missions. Yeah. So, like, I kind of just wanted to explore your mansions. Whether your illusions is with the Red Cat Corps or the White Dog Squad, Yo Kai Watch Blasters will let you team up with friends to tackle the most action packed battles in the series yet. Soon after launch, you'll have another way to squad up. 
you won't want to miss the free software update on September 27th, which adds the Moon Rabbit Crew version to the title screen. This additional content boasts new bonuses for linking save data between Red Cat Core and White Dog Squad, as well as new missions, new areas to explore. I never got into Yokai Watch at all. Yeah, I mean, I hear it's great, but like, I have yeah. a couple friends that love it. And it's like kind of took over Pokemon spot in Japan at least for a little while there, so must be pretty popular. Yeah. Moon Rabbit. That's all the headlines for Nintendo 3DS. Mario Lattes. Alright, that's it for 3DS. How's it going? Good. Well, from here, let's focus on Nintendo Switch titles. Yes, let's let's do that. Just that. Inkopolis news time. Oh, Inkopolis. Inkopolis. Makes so many updates for Splatoon 2. <laughs> new stage. for the stream. Lab. Cool. Cool. Everyone's favorite blue robot makes really triumphant play Mega return Man in Mega Man 11. Did you play the demo yet? Yeah. yeah. Sick. I series, loved it. This brand new game is gunning for greatness on Nintendo Switch. It took me forever to realize that I already had some robot master abilities. Yeah. <laughs> I really like how they're the new powers are working already. Yeah. They're a lot more interesting than even some of the old ones. The gear thing is really interesting, too. Yeah. Special weapons. The technological miracle of the new double gear system makes for a fresh take on the series' satisfying platforming action. It moves so fast that time slows down around you. Temporarily enhance your weapons and show them who the real boss is when you need to most. Mega Man 11 also supports the Mega Man of Evil figures. <laughs> Tap one each day to I pre-ordered it because that's how I get the Amiibo and I love Amiibos. Yeah. Mario Tennis Aces, further refined in new update. Some Still don't have Aces. Yeah, I don't either actually. I almost bought it the other day. I don't know. I played the, uh, the online test. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when, it was, when they did the online test, I was really into it that like Koopa weekend. Paratrooper. Hey, Peter Piranha! Piranha. <laughs> just slaps it. <laughs> yeah, man. That's cool. Peter Piranha hasn't been in a Mario game in like a while, but he was like a staple back in the day. Yeah. Like it's a playable character, anyway. Yeah. He's in like Double Dash and stuff. Cool. All the more reason to go buy it. <laughs> yeah. 
these arcade classics are back in action. Back in the day, Capcom lit up the arcades with some classic beat-em-up action games. And guess what? The good old days are back. Give, give me a gold max, man. The King of Dragons. Captain Commando. Knights of the Round. And <laughs> I don't think Golden Axe is Capcom, but no. that's my favorite old school beat em up. <laughs> Golden Axe is Sega. Yeah, I think it's a first party Sega game. That's cool. Dude, they put on um, Turtles in Time. That'd be sick. On the Switch. Yeah. Capcom beat em up bundle will be ready for action on Nintendo eShop September 18th. New Super Mario Bros. U is getting the deluxe treatment. Which means it's time to take down Bowser and his Koopaling invasion is a tried and true side scroller headed to Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay. Everything's Mario, on Switch. Luigi, yeah. and Toad are all here. And if that's not enough, Nabbit and Toadette are joining in the fun. Oh, cool. Uh, like that better than Double Toads. Really come in handy. And if Toadette powers up with a super crown, ta da! She transforms into Peachette. Peachette can <laughs> Peachette. Peachette for Smash! <laughs> no, pink gold Peachette. I don't even joke about it. New Super Luigi U is getting the deluxe treatment too and comes free of charge. Oh, snap. New Luigi U is hard. All player needs, yeah. And that the four players can join in together anytime, anywhere. Is that how Peach works? Because she's like one of the like mushroom people. <laughs> she yeah, it's on that crown. <laughs> it's, yeah, was she a mushroom person and got a crown and became Princess Peach? It's a whole, oh whole new lore. <laughs> whole new Mario lore. Oh man. <laughs> Katamari. <laughs> Take my money now. <laughs> this is a game about pushing stuff it's into about a ball. Pulling a ball. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it is. Tons of stuff. <laughs> I love Katamari. <laughs> Ball starts off like microscopic and then like eventually you're like rolling up like continents and stuff. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Glover. <laughs> yeah, it's got the Glover like look to it, definitely. On Nintendo Switch. Gyro-controlled Katamari. Even multiplayer battles by each using a Joy-Con controller. Roll it till you reach the stars anytime, anywhere. Katamari Damacy re-roll launch winter 2018. I'm gonna get it. We have some more Nintendo Switch Online. You won't have to wait long. The service will begin Hey. That's soon. We prepared a video to show you what's offered with your Nintendo Switch online membership. So please take a look. More games. More oh, more funds offered. Alright, I'm getting it now. I can buy fun. <laughs> Introduce five features included with your membership. Cloud. <laughs> of course, you can play compatible games together online, even when you're far apart. Compete against players the world over. Or team up for some great <laughs> co-op action. There are so many ways to have fun. Smash online, yes. So find your favorites. Super Tricycle Brothers. Yes. You can even play classic NES games anytime. Hey, come on. Nintendo Switch. Get lost in the gameplay, whether you're the boss or the little monster. For multiplayer games, each player can grab a Joy-Con controller. So both of you can share the... I like that I keep showing Bowser as a good dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the parental controls thing. Yeah. <laughs> Playing together long distance makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Playing with his mom? Unconfirmed. <laughs> <laughs> 
cloud saving. Luigi knows that no matter how you want to add cloud to more games than just Smash, you can. Hey, there's Thwomp! Thwomp. <laughs> there she is! <laughs> there she is. Cody said we we're probably gonna get a female character for Smash, like Dixie Kong, Isabel, or Thwomp. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Automatically backed up in the cloud. Even if your console breaks, your save data will be safe from harm. Good. I wanted to go to him. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online. You never trusted the camera in Mario 64, did you? I did. The camera's not good in Mario 64, so you shouldn't trust it. You can voice chat with friends while playing certain games. Yes, I can call people on the phone while I play games. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nintendo. Players can also join in a conversation. That way, everyone's having fun. Man, that's a weird feeling right there. Toad is playing tennis and picked himself in the game. <laughs> like, Members will also receive special offers. Ooh, who's special? We'll have more to announce in the future. What's in the box? What's in the box, man? <laughs> Gold confetti, dude. <laughs> You can win it. Nintendo Switch Online. The service begins September 18th. Alrighty. Find out which plan is right for you. If your family has two or more accounts, you can save some money. That's with so good. Dude, it's so good. <laughs> Seven people right on it. Well, we have one more thing we'd like to introduce. Uh -huh. One more. This Nintendo Entertainment System style controller works with NES games on Nintendo Switch. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> the left NES controller. And this is the right NES controller. What? <laughs> we created them so you can play NES games like Wild Shot Video. Just like this. There goes more of my money. Dude, that's awesome. I want to get those. Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Switch Online. They probably charge from the These thing, too. That's <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Dude, people were like guessing like split up GameCube controllers and stuff before the Switch came out. That's perfect. I love that. Yeah. Oh, they come together. Oh. You two for 60? That's awesome. Let's get back to some more Nintendo Switch games. Let's do just that. Partner Pokemon is amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Thank you. They need you to tell me that. Dodrio. Today, we want to share a couple things that you and your partner can enjoy in the upcoming game. Partner. During your adventure, you'll occasionally come across your Partner. They realize this was a commitment. Is this the re is this the most recent Pokemon? Yeah, it's a remake of Yellow. It's coming out um in November. Just three dimensional. Yeah, there's more to it than just 3D, but yeah. yeah. It's a complex creature. <laughs> Basically, it's a remake of Pokemon Yellow. Yeah. Furthermore, only your partner Pikachu or Eevee can learn certain powerful moves for use in battle. Plus, if you pet your partner... Such as Thunder Tackle, or Fire Tackle. You can change your partner's hairstyle. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> That's kind of cute. <laughs> Let's go Eevee. Hey, it's close to my birthday. I do. Yeah, close birthdays. We do have close birthdays. <laughs> oh, I do like those controllers. Yeah. I, I've collected all the Joy-Cons so far. <laughs> I want aesthetically pleasing things. I just like the idea of being able to change the look of my console. Yeah. The gates to the burning hells will open on Nintendo Switch. Of course. Diablo? Yeah. Diablo 3. Yeah. They showed the yellows coming, Matt Reggie. Yeah. Are you can play as Ganondorf in this? It's pretty cool, yeah. Or there's at least a Ganondorf costume, I think, unless I like dream that, because it sounds crazy now that I'm saying it all out. For loot filled bounties and rifts to randomize dungeons with even greater spoils. Play as a demon hunter, barbarian, crusader, necromancer, witch doctor, monk, or wizard, with up to three friends online, offline via local co op. Single console couch co op style. You can even suit up in this Nintendo yeah. Switch yeah. transmog armor fit for the King of Evil, Ganondorf. Ganondorf with more unique oh, moves than he has in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Such as Purple Kick and Purple Punch. 
<laughs> Purple grapple. Uh, it's a warlock fist and wizard foot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Duh. Does he shoot little beams like he does in the game Zelda? No. no. <laughs> of course not. Why would a warlock do something like that? Uh, can you play as Goomba? <laughs> yeah, you can. You can? Yeah. Yes. I'm like actually kind of pumped for this. Yeah, I, sh I never thought I'd say about a Mario Party game again. <laughs> <laughs> After uh, one was bad, was it 10 or something? Zero, nine, 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 ten, nine, nine, yeah. I love this. I love being able to put multiple uh, yeah, switches yeah. together. It's really cool such stuff. a cool concept. We could do like a Let's Play thing of this. I'll buy Mario Party, get a bunch of people over here, play a big Mario Party game, post it up on YouTube. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. 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 Like one more person, <laughs> <laughs> like a hundred people here, and have them watch us play. Yeah. Hey, there's uh, what's his face? Spike. Yeah. It is some weird uh, playable characters in this. I mean, he plays like Pom Pom, which is like the female Boom Boom. Yeah, right there. There's a Pom Pom fan base. <laughs> oh yeah, it's huge. It's out there. Is this Smash? <laughs> Smash, Smash Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Town. Smash Brothers? Game, 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 Game Freaks? Oh, okay. Alright, you got my attention. It looks cute. Until the sudden appearance of monsters. Uh oh. Indeed, the entire story takes place in this one single village. Take up arms against invading monsters. We didn't really finished the game, man. We only have the first town. <laughs> Crap, the release date's tomorrow. Uh, call it town. <laughs> there you go. Powerful threats. What secret does the village harbor? Apparently the whole game. town releases in 2019. Well, I'm interested now. Develop a city anytime, anywhere. Town, city, is this Animal Crossing over here? <laughs> city sky. Wes says Goomba for Smash. I say <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Wes. And you've got some real moving and shaking to do if you want to improve the quality of life and energize businesses. The Sim like City game? It's pretty cool. Yeah, it came out a couple of. It actually came out quite a few years ago. Oh, really? Uh, I've never seen it. How the city develops is totally up to you. It's like a really popular, it's like a really in depth city builder game. That's cool. We need more games like that on the Switch, I feel like. Games where you can just pour, like Stardew Valley, I can just pour a ton of time into. Like, this looks like something you can do. Ooh, after dark. <laughs> Ooh, uh oh. Or snowfall. After dark's the uh, adult edition, like that mode in Smash that's yeah. blocked out. It's for the more mature gamers. Tale of belief, blood and steel. The moon has fallen. Now. Oh, Moonfell, huh? This looks very similar to the Enders. Yeah, it does. <laughs> they showed this a couple of directs ago, though, right? Did they call I it? believe so, yeah. That's cool. I like customizable robots. <laughs> Custom Robo for Smash. <laughs> It's like armor core and silver to the Enders. Yeah, I definitely get this on the Enders because I don't know if it's the way those jets on the back of the robot yeah. look. Oh, you can just get right out. If you want to die instantly, you can also leave the robot. players can join forces in online co-op to take down massive bosses. Cool. Yeah, it's like the lock-on mechanism, mechanism and like the moving around is like really the zone of the Enders. Yeah. But then like the mech designs are very armored core. A big adventure in a miniature world of crafts. That's Yoshi? Yeah, oh, cool. <laughs> I want it yeah. so bad. Alright, Kirby's Epic Yarn, you're gonna have to move over. We have a new winner. <laughs> Cutest game. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so incredibly wonderful. You can turn the stage on its head or flip the perspective. It's poor shy. What are those little things he's hiding in? Fuji! Along the way. Wait, what? You can play the course backwards? 
Oh, that's Changing cool. Outlook really can show you a whole different side of the world. The flip side. <laughs> know any would-be Yoshis? Then pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend. <laughs> yes, those Yoshis riding Yoshis. All sides of this crappy world. Right, Yoshi? <laughs> all sides of this crappy world. Crafty. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshis, crappy world. <laughs> Spring for that. Tabletop gaming is a perfect fit. Yeah, yeah, I like tabletop gaming. You do it's like improving. tabletop gaming. As many digital Was this that thing that we've like seen at Gen Con before? Full adaptations of best it's on like the table. Uh, that, yeah, I don't know. Either. Build a medieval world in a full adaptation of the award winning Carcassonne, complete with 3D maps, solo modes, yeah, four player local good. multiplayer, and the game's like famous Catan. expansions That's available Catanish. as paid <laughs> DLC. It's different brands. <laughs> right? That is big of a tabletop gamer as some people in the room. It's a little bit different than video games. <laughs> oh, Lord of the Rings. Right, you got my attention. The spread of four diseases and cure them all on yep. your own or in local four player multiplayer with pandemic. Plus, it's individually priced DLC based on popular expansions. Glad you avoided me now. <laughs> this is just Lord of the Rings living card game. game. Alright. I like Lord of the Rings. Switch. I could be into that. These titles. We can also confirm that even more on the that. way. Is really one of the most popular board hey, games Katana. ever. Hey, Katana. Heroes Katana. <laughs> the dungeon crawler. Munchkin. Munchkin. Oh, nice. Okay. Card game, Munchkin. Oh, man. That would be fun to do. have the Switch as like a tabletop, like, gaming yeah. uh, party. All great thing. creations, even nations, begin with a spark. A civilization. whole life was in a little tiny thing of water, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You call it. Well, it sort of, I think got, I don't even call it leaked, it basically got announced already before this direct. Uh, so. Hold an empire in the palm of your hands. Wow. A lot of stuff on November 16th. Is that Pokemon's release date too? It's around then. It's, it's not December, or November 16th. It's close to that. Oh, yeah, I know you're into this. I only really want this because Star Fox is in it now. You guys need all the help you can get. Epi, Falco, and Slippy will provide much needed backup in the new Nintendo Switch exclusive missions found only in Starlink Battle for Atlas. <laughs> Star Fox, warm up on me. Falco here, I got you covered. It's time to lock on, do a barrel roll, and save the I love the figures that they have for yeah. them too. No matter cool. who threatens to stop you. I'm an Amiibo fan, so I like figures and stuff. Oh, snap. Oh, man. Oh, snap. <laughs> Guys are killing me here. <laughs> oh, you gotta get it. Starlink Battle for Atlas takes flight October 16th. You can't dangle that carrot in front of me. Jesse's a wolf main. <laughs> RPGs are coming to Nintendo Switch this Yeah, fall. well done with you. The world as you view final so remix sick. features an all new story segment called A New Day, which contains a remixed map of Shibuya. So you'll really have to scramble to escape the area. Some of the games I've never heard of. It's a square so RPG that was on the DS track. that not a ton of people play, but it was really good. Final remix launches October 12th. The music is yeah. incredible. Let's go play it. Here we go. I'm going to get this. And drove a hero down a dark path 500 years before the events of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 game. Defend yourself from Malos and his forces using all the fury of this refined battle system, allowing you to fight an open artificial life forms known as Blades and their masters, the Drivers. Newcomers will have the perfect place to start when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna, the Golden Country, launches September 21st. Owners of the Xenoblade oh, Chronicles 2 title. expansion pass can download this new <laughs> content tomorrow, just a week early. 
tons in store on Nintendo Switch, and even more in store for the future. Join more than 38 million players for free-to-play co-op Space Ninja action when Warframe launches November 20th. Free-to-play co-op Space Ninja action. Bruno Mars, Cardi B, and more anytime, anywhere. Hey, Cody has a game, you know. <laughs> Dance, a game for Cody. <laughs> Tomorrow, so you won't miss the ball when it launches September 28th. Speaking of fast, Race is a team and win is a team in Team Sonic Racing, launching this winter. Oh, cool. Like racing is like Sonic. Rated basketball simulation franchise is back. NBA 2K19 is available now on Nintendo Switch. And get ready to jam the sequel to the smash hit NBA Arcade. Playgrounds. NBA 2K Playgrounds. What was the game that had uh, Mario? It was like three on three something that had Mario. Okay, Mario. Oops. Mario. Oops. Mario. Oops. Mario. But wasn't there like a normal game, like a basketball game that had Mario as a cameo? I don't know. Maybe, Maybe one of the GameCube ones? Yeah, I feel like it was GameCube. Yeah, that basketball game. It's like NBA <laughs> Street or <laughs> Batman Lego game? Yeah. basketball game? It was with the oh, yeah, I heard about this. Oh, like, Crystal Chronicles. I really want this. Because I love Crystal Chronicles, I just could never get anybody to play it with. Because <laughs> nobody had the Game Boy in the link yep. thing. I played it over Jeff's house in his basement like a couple times, but it was it was a hassle to get. I think we had to like coax his brother into playing with us. And yeah. When your friends can connect an adventure together, no link cable required. <laughs> there you go. That's that was the issue. Areas inside dungeons, so even returning fans can explore the unknown. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition will launch in 2019. No links. <laughs> Way before then. It's called No Links. The pocket edition? You heard about this coming out beforehand? There was like a. Somebody made a leak that had this coming to Switch, but then they put a bunch of other crazy stuff that is obviously not happening now, so. Oh, this game. Oh. It's so adorable. Now, I never ended up buying this game, but maybe now I will. Cool. Now that it's on Switch. <laughs> I got this for my ex-girlfriend like a year ago and she loved it. Yeah. It's super cute. Yeah. Oh, it's adorable. In the world of Final Fantasy Maximum, when it releases on November 6th. Oh my god. I love Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon. Yeah, that's like racking up as like 12 games that you must have. Yeah, I'm going to be broke. What about it? You get like a little shin dragon. Everybody launches this Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> and it's spelled buddy. Oh, you gotta buy it. Oh, you gotta buy this one. I love Final <laughs> Fantasy XII. <laughs> it loves you. Get the wallet out. <laughs> it's the wallet. Oh, and then I can play it anywhere. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, oh man, they're adding all these ports to Switch, and it's like, yeah, I'm excited about them. I like having stuff on Switch. Where's all the square loving love coming from all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, they put you on Switch. There's so many Final Fantasy games. Which reminds me. Yeah. Later on, you'll also be able to enjoy these other classics. Are you kidding me? Oh. Scenes, anytime, anywhere. Final Fantasy VII, 9. Oh my god. What? 10-2 HD remaster are coming to Nintendo. You guys are killing me. <laughs> wow. Square likes Nintendo right now. That is a good Here's sign. A for the ultimate fan. If you love the Super Smash Brothers series, check this thing out. So Cody uses my Switch, so he will be buying this for his Switch, probably. It's like it's sweaty. They got it like a dirty one. That's part of its appeal. It just, it sweats. Oh, it's making my desk all moist. joy kinds are all sweaty, it makes it hard to do anything in Smash. Wow, comes out early. That's good. You can get it early and get the game later on. Sweet. More GameCube controllers. Got enough of those. 
That's all the headlines for Nintendo Switch. Alright. Thank you all for watching. We have a bit more to show you. Darn right. So, please stick around until the very end. Oh, I will. Darn right. You bet. Jesse has like a. His wallet open. <gasps> oh my god! Here's a goal for Smash. <laughs> yep. Virgin Man gets another one right. <laughs> I wonder if she's gonna be an Echo or not, though. She seems to be getting her own trailer. She might be her own character. And smash! <laughs> man, oh man. Smash up with Asian? Is P in? <laughs> Is P in the game? P in smash! Bias about No one saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> and now Pete's on his way to the Smash Battlefields. <laughs> I love it, Smash! Yes! It's over a new leaf. Nice. I love it. Okay. Okay, looks like an echo. Oh? Ooh, no, maybe some new stuff. Water, well, still could be an echo. Yeah. A unique oh. echo. Is that a tethered ground? Yeah, she had a fishing rod. <laughs> oh, bomb bombs! Just like in Mario Party. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh wow, she's totally different. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's dope. Um, I'm so on board with this. Hope you'll cheer me on. Will. <laughs> Are we also getting down though? <laughs> Give me the nook. <laughs> Are you getting fouled? Oh my god. Business you got, no. Oh, is it a new Animal Crossing? <laughs> Camping and smashing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh new Animal Crossing. Nice. This direct is so good. Dude, I can't play another one. <laughs> I need to play another play one. Two. You need to play a lot of things. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So a lot of them are replaying things, too. <laughs> it's going. Else? Usually cuts right to the end. Oh, okay, that's oh. the end. Alright. Wow, just okay. Isabel. That's okay. There you go. And she doesn't appear to be an Echo Fighter. That's surprising. Yeah, she shares a lot of similarities, but very yeah. unique. Like... But new Animal Crossing, that's that's super hype. <laughs> Isabel was leaked by the guy who leaked Simon, so he also leaked Ken, so that's the only other character I think he has leaked, so Ken's pretty much by a lock. Um, yeah. Interesting. What did, um... What did Cody predict? Cody predicted a female character, and that was it, and Cody was right. <laughs> what did I predict the one before? Uh, K. Rool. K. Rool and, and Simon. Simon. And then before that, he predicted Daisy. So we should probably just listen to whatever Cody says, because exactly. it's right. <laughs> See you next month, boys. Isabel is an echo. But she's one of those echoes that are... Have very different moves. Yeah, and it looks like they're all animated differently. Like her, the the pot she dropped was way different than like the bowling ball and stuff. Or actually, it was the flower pot. Yeah. So.
It's like a Zelda pot. Well, she put down the stop sign. That was new. That was different. Yeah. yeah. She kind of seems like a like a Lucas to Ness. Kind of like has some some. Just have some similar, similar moves, yeah. but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely um, she different. Thing, where she planted the the gyroid that yeah. comes up in the air. Yeah, so she's definitely going to be different. So that's cool. She um, had that flamethrower. Do you remember that? <laughs> I'll have to rewatch. I'll have to yeah, rewatch yeah. the flamethrower. Just like, must have missed that one. Annihilated a bunch of characters. <laughs> and then they get actually removed from the roster after she kills them with the flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> it's intense. Yeah, so I... Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, I did not think we were going to get... Ju just Isabel. I think Isabel is a possible Echo, but um, I thought we were going to get a uh, different, unique... Uh, fighter. Yeah. But not mad, happy about it. I'll take that. Our stream is super behind, at least our preview of it. I don't know if you guys are caught up or what, but our preview of the stream is like, it's on the, um... Squid research. Yeah, the Splatoon 2, like the end of the Splatoon 2 part of the direct, which was like at the beginning. Gino Bandanity and Skull Kid. She's a newcomer, check the site. Cool, cool, cool. Well, yeah, Gino, Bandana D, and Skullcade. Yeah, I'm hoping. Um, well, for me, what the lack of Smash information was at least made up for by... It. There was a lot of stuff in this Direct that I wanted. <laughs> yeah, no, there was a ton of cool games and stuff. I, I was shocked at the new Luigi game and stuff, so... Yeah, I do think we'll get another direct probably about Pokemon and a few other things, um, maybe next month, October. So, and I do think we'll get at least one more like big Smash direct before the game comes out. There's still a lot of stuff, you know, questionable about Smash. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my prediction. Is Isabel a new character? People are saying yes. Uh, is she a non-Echo? I don't know. I'll check the site, but I don't want to get off this page yet. So, um, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that was it. So, what was your favorite announced character? All right, we're back with Nintendo Treehouse oh, Lab. Oh, the Treehouse afterwards? Or did it just uh, jump to the next thing? At Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh, before we jump over into a quick another look at or a look, our first look. I don't first know. Look. Is it our first look? First no, this is from back, and yeah, I just went to the next video. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so Getting people's hopes up. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so, I mean, Virgin was right about Isabel, so he's probably right about Ken. I think that's the only other character he has uh, leaked right now, though. Um, LOZ18 was saying he didn't think Isabel would be in the game, but he wasn't, like, leaking that, so LOZ18's still in play. Um, yeah, wow, we have 1,300-some people watching. 1,300. 1,300 for the math experts out there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a lot of people. Yeah, so we'll see what else we get from here on out, Smash wise. But yeah, it was a good direct, like overall, um, gaming wise. I am really happy about the uh, Animal Crossing being announced oh in the future. God. We didn't hear anything about Metroid uh, Prime Four though, so yeah. I'm still waiting to hear more about that game. Yeah, you guys got anything else to say? <laughs> I surprised talk. we only got one character. I thought we were gonna get like two. I thought so too. I thought we were gonna get um I honestly was thinking Skull Kid Isaac and then like an Echo Fighter like Isabel. Um yeah, we'll see. See what we get in the future. But that's that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's dead. That's yeah. dead. I did like Isabel's trailer. It was funny, <laughs> like I think they did that very well. Yeah. So that was cool. So yeah, I don't know if anybody has any questions or anything for us, like a Q and A, because there's a lot of people in here, so I'm happy to answer any questions. It's pretty saying not even Shadow. I still think Shadow's pretty likely. People seem disappointed from the comments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I was, people are. yeah. I was hoping for more characters too, guys, but I mean, I'm still happy to see Isabel in the game. Big the Cat. <laughs> We're talking about Big the Cat again. Isaac didn't get in. Not yet, okay? Could still happen. I 
I was hoping we'd get Sakurai saying something, though, which we didn't get. It was just a character reveal, but I guess that means all the more reason to look at all the Smash and er, uh, Nintendo news from now on, because they may just drop a character reveal. Whew. Pop can't wait for your video after this. Cool. Thank you. Nothing about Metro Prime 4, yep. Oh, Gino and Smash, so bad. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up hope, though. Do I think this decreases any chances? Um, I think the only thing it might do a little bit is uh, it makes more stuff in favor of Virgiben um, and less stuff in favor of LOZ18 because he was saying he didn't think Isabel was in the game, but that was just speculation from him, not a leak, so I don't know if that really hurts his uh, characters he's been saying we're getting, which is basically just Skull Kid. Um, so I don't think this really changes anything, Smash speculation-wise, except that now you can add Isabel on there to your uh, prediction rosters. Do I still think Skull Kid is in? Um, yeah, probably. I still think he's pretty likely. Um, so yeah, I'd still say he's likely. Um, honestly, it makes more sense to save him for October as like a Halloween character. I always kind of thought that. I also always thought that doing a whole direct themed after Sun and Moon, having Skull Kid as the Moon, Isaac as the Sun, and then a Pokemon rep as Sun and Moon made a lot of sense for a full themed direct. So yeah, my money's still on, uh, on that being a direct at some point. Gina will be in. Give me an honest answer. Yeah, I do think he's in. I think the me costume almost confirmed it. Uh, the DLC me costume. This bill is not an Echo, guys. Confirmed. I'll have to go check the website. Do you think the Guard of World League still has merit? Um, it could potentially still have merit. Uh, I don't think it's dead. Um, there's more stuff in favor of Incineroar these days, but hey, if Gardevoir and Gothel gets in, I'll just give the internet a big I told you so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think anything killed it yet, so yeah, I think it's still in play. I don't know if it's super likely now, but it's still in play. R.I.P. Isaac. I don't think Isaac's out of the running. I think it'd still happen. Does this mean Ken is a lock? Yeah, I would say this probably does mean Ken is a lock. Direct sucks if you don't like Animal Crossing. Well, the ending of the Direct sucks if you don't like Animal Crossing. <laughs> if you were a Final Fantasy fan, I think you'd like the Direct. <laughs> There's a lot of that. <laughs> How many characters do you think we're getting now? Um, still the same. I still believe we're going to get, like, four to six unique characters and, like, you know, four to six uh, Echoes. But take Isabel off as either an Echo or unique, so, you know, four and five. I still think there's about ten characters remaining, honestly. What could be the new features in Switch Animal Crossing? Um, I don't know. Cody, you're a big Animal Crossing fan. You think anything you want to see in Animal Crossing? I mean, I don't know what else I could do with it. So. Uh, I mean, I, I played the... High Waffle Cakes. I don't even really remember. What was the last one that they had? New, new Leaf. Leaf? Yeah, I played that one. I played the first one. I played the DS one. I didn't play the Wii one. I've kind of played... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to play another one. <laughs> just like Animal Crossing out? <laughs> yeah, I just feel like I've played enough of that in my lifetime. I can never have enough. <laughs> yeah, um, no, having the Switch as a portable system, you might find yourself just yeah. putting time in Animal Crossing. Does Banjo have a chance? Yes, I think he has a very good chance. In fact, one of the things Virgin leaked besides Ken is that Minecraft has something in Smash, which means Sakurai went to Microsoft, which means... Potentially Banjo-Kazooie, so yeah, I think uh, Banjo-Kazooie does have a good shot. Oh, why Rhythm Heaven is even about, I doubt Chorus Kids are a lock. Yeah, I wouldn't call them a lock either, um, but likely, yeah, I still think they're pretty likely. Yeah, I was really thinking there was going to be a character after Isabel. There's going to be Isabel, Animal Crossing, and then, like... Skull, Skull Kid or Isaac or, or something. Isaac or... Yeah, I'm not disappointed, though, because, I mean... It's... Shut up, Jesse. 
There's, there's still like so many characters. <laughs> Disappointment is obvious. That they can still announce. It's not like. Well, this wasn't a Smash them. Direct. This yeah. was a. It was just a direct. direct. Yeah. Just because they didn't announce more people today doesn't mean that they won't soon. Yeah. I mean, that Smash Direct we got in August, we got five characters, and I still Do you think, think there's going to be a character tomorrow, Jesse? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I will say this, so there was this whole thing about how the Japanese website had all these missing blog posts on it, and there's no way Isabel is going to take up more than like three of those, and there was nine missing last week, so who knows what they're hiding that maybe they'll start dropping new stuff. What about Banjo-Kazooie? Just talked about Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> GM and Banjo, please. Yeah, those are my top two as well. Um... <laughs> Why I was expecting a new Wario Land. I, I don't know either. I would like a new Wario Land, but not expecting it. Keep up the good work with the channel. Thank you, John Robertson. You noticed me. I did notice you, Awful Cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody says, Isabel is not an Echo. No Pikmin 4. Yeah, I know. Where the heck is Pikmin 4? <laughs> Miyamoto said that game's like almost done. That was like seven oh, millennials ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they lost it. They Banjo. lost the whole game. Banjo is an echo of Duck Hunt. Pete is in. Says Mustache Walrus. <laughs> Please Impa and B Sharp. Yeah, I think Impa's a really likely echo for uh, Sheik. Especially now that Sheik has a Final Smash that isn't like Zelda specific. It's like Sheikah. So, I think that could happen. Too many people think Nintendo only does Smash. Rar. Why are people... Oh, missed it. Smash Ultimate has DLC. Um, because Nintendo would be dumb not to put in DLC. Prince money. Um, I feel like Nintendo could win E3 next year. Win, quote-unquote, as people call it. Uh, just by, you know... Oh, we're close to falling. Hey! So Nintendo <laughs> fell over. Um, I feel like... Uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, winning E3, yeah. I feel like uh, Nintendo could win E3 just with, like, a good character DLC in Smash. Like, people are so hyped for that stuff. So, yeah, um, I, I do think we'll get DLC. I think Nintendo would be crazy not to do it. Do I actually like Papa John's Pizza? No, I like Papa Gino's Pizza. There is a restaurant called Papa Gino's. That's the pizza I like. Uh, they spell it G-I-N-O. S, so I switched it to an E. It's a clever pun. I'm very smart. Very funny. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Give me some wah. There you go. Wah. You got some wah. Wah. Jesse, how can you eat more? I never <laughs> stop. <laughs> Mansion 3 is cool, yep. Is Elma still a possibility? Yeah, I do think characters like Karate Joe and Elma do get a little less likely the closer and closer we get to release date when we still have characters like Bandana D, um, Gino, Isaac, a Pokemon rep. Um, so yeah, they get a little less likely I think the closer we get because I honestly feel like they'd be announced early on, not towards the end. If that makes sense, I'm categorizing characters totally randomly. I'd love another Endless Ocean. Yeah, all right. It'd be a cool stage. <laughs> It's a wah to feel good right now. Wah! Hey, there you go. So I see a lot of people upset um, that they're upset that she's not an Echo because she's stealing a quote-unquote slot. I don't really think they're designing this game like they're filling slots as they go along. I'm pretty sure they had these thought out in advance. I agree with that. I also think that because she uses what appears to be a lot of the assets from uh, Villager, she probably isn't taking as much um, development time, and it's really about development time and not slots. So, like, if Dixie gets in, for instance, and Dixie is similar to Isabel and gets a unique character slot but has, you know, a lot of Diddy's moves, I also wouldn't think Dixie is taking away... Um, you know, slots from a character or whatever. Norman Rucker, uh, I will not say that. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> There's limits here. So they're going to reveal Gino the day before release. Yeah, um, 
I could see that happening. It would honestly be a really hype last minute announcement. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's how I, I predicted his reveal trailer with being with the everyone is here theme being pushed and having everyone under the Smash Ball, like when Inkling first saw everyone under the Smash Ball, this time all the characters, and then Gino uh, reuniting with Mario and being like everyone is here because it's a very uh, reunion moment which would make sense for that theme. Berkshire Wireless? Berkshire Wireless saying hey, hey. <laughs> Predictions for how the reveal will go up to December. She's like Dr. Mario. Yeah, she's like Dr. Mario or, um, who'd you say, uh, Lucas. Lucas to Ness. Yeah. We also get Malo as an assist. Yeah, I can see that happening. I feel like Malo's got to be in there somewhere if Gino gets in. Any characters feel a little less likely now? Um, Tom Nook. <laughs> Tom Nook feels less likely, yes. Thank you, Cody. Pete the Mailman. <laughs> Pete the Mailman and Tom Nook's chances plummeted after this direct. <laughs> Just a feeling. Lloyd Irving. I think Lloyd has a really good shot as a second Namco rep. It's like him or Hihachi. But I kind of feel like since Namco's working on the game, um, they may save their second rep for DLC because they might not prioritize them over other characters that they want to get into the base roster. So that's kind of how I feel, especially because we don't have veterans to pad out the DLC this time. If we do get DLC, which I think we will, um, I think Namco might be holding off on a second rep. So like Lloyd, Hihachi for DLC. I'm still holding my breath that we might get Klonoa from <laughs> Namco. Possible. <laughs> not likely, but, but possible. I'd love it. October 31st, Isaac for Sun, Skull Kid for Moon, Pokemon Rep for Sun Moon. Yeah, I think a late October direct uh, based on Sun and Moon uh, makes a lot of sense for those three characters. Can we hear how you think the rest of the reveal cycle will go? Um, if I had to guess, we will get a direct in October, uh, maybe that Sun and Moon theme direct. I think we will then get another uh, Smash direct in November. And if we haven't gotten the Pokemon from the Sun and Moon direct character, I think they'll happen in November, but I'm guessing they'll happen... I mean, honestly, if I had to guess... Just outright, it would be Isaac, Skull Kid, Pokemon Rep in October, and then in November, a final Smash Direct, uh, kind of like the one in August with like a final like five characters, maybe Shadow, Geno, um, maybe a Rhythm Heaven Rep, Mello. characters like that. Mel Mello. is an assist. Assist <laughs> trophy. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, no, I, want, I want Mello in the game. I do want Mello in the game. I just Geno's an assist trophy. And Mello is playable? Yeah. Oh my god. That would... Uh... Then I think you, you quit the channel. <laughs> yeah. um, that... Um, might happen, but I don't know. I, I'm really more in favor of Gino happening than Mallow. I think most people are. I don't dislike Mallow. I'm not trying to say I dislike Mallow, just I think he's more assist trophy material. Maybe we'll get more echoes announced along with the newcomers. Yes, I do also. So I think, again, uh, that we still have like four to six newcomer, like unique newcomers, and I also still think we have like four to six echoes left. I think we have probably about 10 characters left in the base roster. Amazing content as always. Thank you. I think was approved by Square for Smash 4, uh, but they made his meat costume because of the time constraints. Yeah, completely agree. Strider Hugh from Strider. Uh, Strider's cool. I always liked him in, was it, was it Marvel vs. Capcom you play as Strider? I thought he's, he was cool. Yeah, he's in one of those. Actually, I think he's in two of those. <laughs> I also got some cool Gino music. I'll try to remember that and uh, check it out later. Main roster caps at 100, maybe. I could see after DLC, after all said and done, that, yeah, we have 100 characters. I really honestly could see that happening. It would be a crazy number to shoot for, but this is Smash Where Ultimate. Where are we at right now? 68 with K Rule, but with Echoes, it's like into the 70s, so it's not that crazy. Realistically, any chance of Banjo? Yes, I do think so. Actually, getting Isabel gives more weight to Virgin, which gives more weight to Minecraft being in Smash in some way, which gives more weight to Nintendo going to Microsoft, which gives more weight to Banjo. So yeah, uh, Isabel actually made Banjo more likely. How do I feel about Banjo Kazooie? They're my second most wanted character. <laughs> Crazy amount of announcements this month. Um, probably not. Uh, we might start getting maybe something new in the, um, just like the Smash website, but I honestly think we'll probably go through a lull until October. Some point in October. We'll get another direct of some kind. 
thoughts on Shantae. There's a ton of stuff in Shantae's games that are like hinting towards Shantae and Smash. Um, so yeah, she seems pretty likely just based on all that. Though, if I had to guess since Shovel Knight's an assist trophy, I'm kind of guessing Shantae, uh, if she is in Smash, may just be an assist trophy. Um, she could be playable. I think she's a cool character. Genie character is really unique moveset potential there, but I do think she's probably the same as Shovel Knight, same like level. Tapu Koko, um, maybe. Most people who think we're getting a Gen 7 rep seem to be saying Incineroar, and just based on all the stuff I've heard, I'd probably say Incineroar seems the most likely. Isabel has the same Final Smash like Villager. I'll have to check the website, see if that's up there. Isabel not added to the mural. Direct sooner than we think. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Nine Final Fantasy games were announced in Switch Direct. Yeah, so uh, Square seems to really like Nintendo right now, and Gino is kind of a Square character, so... Uh, it's the last time they loved each other this much. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about all the uh, Square love that we just got. Shovel Knight would have been a great pick for a pixel-related character. Yeah, that would have been cool, actually. Though I like his 3D render as yeah. an assist trophy, too. We do kind of have uh, the new... Game and Watch, who's kind of pixelated. Yeah, he's a little more, um... He does his, like, kind of unsettling transformations into his... <laughs> Other games. games? Yeah. They have, like, full faces and stuff. <laughs> I use the bathroom. Yeah, all right. I guess we can wrap this up then. <laughs> all right, guys. So it was fun watching it. Uh, thanks for watching along with us. I'll try to stream more directs. I'll try to get better, uh... You know, overall, I don't know how the quality was on your guys' end, but yeah. And I'll post a reaction video um, of this soon that's going to be better quality because I filmed it with a real camera. So um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time. So once again, thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes. Uh, it really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.